Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to a brand new video and today's video is going to be how to make 3D text in Cinema 4D I'm going to leave a template down below so you guys can do this easily, you don't have to set anything up and Yeah, let's get into it, so The first thing is, the first thing you want to do is open this up and Then you want to come over here, click on text layer, then go down to here, text spline Type in whatever, I just have uh, my name here so after that you want to pick your font, I just have Arial, I might change that to Akira And then yeah I put this, I put the depth at 50 but you can change this if you want This is the back 50 And subdivision at 1, I don't really know what that is But I just keep out, keep out 1, the height 75 Yeah that's basically it so what usually what I do is I click alt and I hold left on the mouse to uh, get like an angle here then I click the the mouse button to kind of move up and down then the alt and alt and mouse button there to move up and down then alt on the right mouse button to zoom in and yeah I just try to get an angle Sometimes I just move this as well so I can just get like that. And yeah, that's that's how I get my text. And then uh oh yeah, there's a bend on this as well, which uh you can turn this off, I guess. And you can have it like that. I like it on though so next thing you wanna do is you wanna go to render settings Put this to whatever, just whatever. Uh. Well, stop, and then render setting. Oh yeah, you want to go over to render. You want to go to render to picture view. Then yeah, it's gonna render out. Alright, so once it's done, you want to just X out, and then you want to make another one. You just want to click on text again, but, but you want to go to depth and put a one. Okay, you just want to uh, go to render settings. Just want to put a two here, and then render, and then render the picture view. You okay, just want to render it out again. I'm going to show you guys why in Photoshop in a second. Alright, so once you're in Photoshop, um, I have the two layers here, so this this bottom one is um, just the base layer, and then I have the this one, which I put at the top, which is like the, the like face of it, I guess. Then, yeah, I just put it on top because what I like to do sometimes is put color overlay on it. Uh, I'm just going to put bright red. Uh, in your dodge I just put like that and then go over here to drop shadow and I put drop shadow on it and then I make a clipping mask you guys want to see drop shadow settings just uh, spread all the way down size of 18 and distance at 8 and yeah over here Usually I just leave this um, as it is, but sometimes I just put color overlay on it, make it a bit darker, put the hard mix, and you get this effect, I think it's cool, I don't know, you could use this for anything really, as a cool effect for headers and all that shit, um, but yeah, that's basically the video, if you guys did enjoy, if you did learn anything, please, Leave a like and subscribe, and yeah, peace.